Hi everyone and welcome back to For the Love of Organizing. In my last video, I asked if you'd be interested in a grocery haul video, and I'm thrilled you wanted to learn a bit more about how we approach the shopping and meal planning process. This isn't a sponsored video, just something I thought could be fun to share. Now before I jump anything, I wanted to show you my receipt from my recent grocery run where I bought enough for around two weeks. I saved just over $100 and I spent $197. Now I rotate between two different approaches to grocery shopping. I think you'll be glad to hear the one I'm sharing today does not involve coupons or savings apps, although I do love and use those. Uh, but this is my go-to when I'm in a pinch for time and I still want to get a great value. I start with my Happy Planner, and you'll notice I purchased their Home Planner add-in, which comes with meal planning sheets, to-do lists, and house cleaning charts. I really love this edition. It's very helpful and was worth every bit of the extra $10. Now what I've done um, is create a master grocery list insert that I always have and can refer back to. It has almost everything we would buy in a month's time, and keep in mind I won't need to purchase everything on this list today, but it helps me to not miss anything. With the list in hand, I review our pantry, fridge, and freezer just to see what we already have and what we need. So for example, I may notice we are out of milk, orange juice, cereal, etc. So I begin my list that way. And I flip over to the menu planning sheet and go ahead and jot down any meals that I can make using what we already have. Now in our family of four, we have a vegetarian, a dairy-free person, a gluten-free guest, and more traditional eaters. So it makes for interesting meal planning, but I think that's actually a great thing for me to share with you how I tackle all of this without spending half of my day in the kitchen. I return to my grocery list and fill in items I need to finish out the meals that I kind of got started in my planning. So for example, I may need to purchase vegetables, uh, maybe sweet potatoes, sauces, sides, and then I just complete the list, adding predictable things we always need like juice boxes and snacks for lunch. Now at this point, I'm ready to hop on to southernsavers.com um, and navigate over to Harris Teeter. This was a week where I didn't have the time to shop aisle by aisle in the store, so I budgeted the extra 10 or so dollars for the store to have my groceries ready for me at their curbside pickup. What I'm going to focus on today is their buy one get one section, just to see what they have that could work into my meal planning. Whatever fruits or veggies are on sale are usually the ones I will work with. And I stock up within reason. Uh, by this point, I usually have a good idea of how the rest of my meals are going to look. And so then I hop over to the Harris Teeter website and just get shopping. I created an account and I know my local store offers delivery or in-store pickup. And so I just start adding things to my cart. Um, you can shop from the weekly flyer and click on any item to see your options and make your selections. I usually get this done before breakfast and then schedule pickup for later that day. So now it's time to show you what we purchased for two weeks if you're still with me. Beginning with fruits and vegetables, raspberries were on a huge sale so I picked up far more than I usually would and I included them in a variety of things from morning smoothies to an add-in for dessert. I also froze some for future smoothie making. Mango chunks, and what I do is make mango banana smoothies for breakfast or an afternoon snack with just mango, frozen banana, and almond milk, and it is truly delicious. These were the juices that were on sale, and this Italian blend salad was also buy one get one free. For some easy on the go options and to include in lunches, Plenty of apples, a few plums, and some huge oranges. Sweet potatoes for use in a few dinner recipes. Also grapes and plums for more breakfast ideas. And our second favorite smoothie is also very simple, a banana berry. Frozen bananas, which I cube after they are ripe and store in a Ziploc bag. Blueberries and almond milk. Since we have so many great raspberries, they also make a perfect addition. 
Moving on to vegetables, there were plenty on sale at half price, and this is something I can stock up on without any issues. So I purchased corn, broccoli, Asian stir fry, and plenty of edamame, my daughter's favorite. Now smoothie weather is almost over, and then it's time for warm soup. So I grabbed these two chili mixes, an alternative when I don't have the time to make everything from scratch. I usually add in a few chopped veggies as well. And as I'm making the guys chili, I'll go ahead and put together a batch of homemade vegetable soup that I can freeze in individual portions for my daughter and I for later. We incorporate rice and beans all the time around here, so I picked up a few more cans to work with our meal planning and plenty of rice. And here's an example of a recent dinner I prepared, rice and beans, teriyaki chicken, and broccoli. This garden vegetable lasagna was on sale, so I purchased two and hoped my daughter would really like it, and she did. General Sao sauce, which I used on the chicken you saw earlier. Turkey for my son's lunches, that's just his preference. Hamburger buns, since I knew I had 12 patties frozen from a previous grocery run. Almond and coconut milk, and I try to purchase whole organic as well. Macaroni and cheese, it's not as bad if it's organic, right? And then lunch boxes and snacks for lunches. I am trying to wean everyone off of the Cheez-Its, but I'm keeping it real for you all. Now we needed more dish detergent and this body wash was on sale at just about half price. So I went ahead and snagged that as well. I really like this brand. Now you won't see any cereal, bread, or meat in this haul because I already had those items on hand. I did purchase some boneless, skinless chicken breasts and this just freed me up to use more of our budget on things that were healthier, which was really nice. And if you're interested in our dinner menu for um, the two weeks, here are those pages from my planner and I'll walk you through everything. Monday, the general sow chicken with white rice and broccoli. Tuesday, hearty chili for the guys and a separate easy veggie soup prepared in the same time span. Wednesday, low country shrimp and rice with a big salad and a separate um, edamame and salad for my daughter with mashed potatoes. Thursday, the hamburgers I mentioned we had on hand. Friday, veggie lasagna all around and a big salad. Saturday, pork chops with rice and beans. And then Sunday, Asian-inspired salad with stir-fried veggies. Moving on to week two. Monday, cube steak with sweet potatoes. Tuesday, pasta and salad. Wednesday, coconut shrimp white rice and veggies. And I'm gonna link to the coconut shrimp recipe below that we've made twice now. It is incredible. Thursday, tacos and a side of vegetables. And then for my daughter, I make a vegan alternative, a recipe I found online a few years ago, and I'll link below to that as well. Friday, chili with venison and veggie soup and rice. And I find that my family doesn't mind this type of repeat when the weather is nice and chilly. Saturday, Meatballs and rice with a salad, and for my daughter, salad and mashed potatoes. You're noticing a theme here for her. <laughs> Sunday, lo mein with veggies and grilled chicken. Now, I really hope this type of video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video on the cleaning schedule pages in the Happy Planner. I'll share my system with you and let you know how I've customized it and how that's working out for us. In the meantime, I'll see you over on Instagram and Facebook.